again. I'm going to do a oil test on this wood gas stove. I already started it up to save us some time here because I'm trying to beat a rainstorm. Uh, made the fire with wood that I found around in my yard. Drops out of the tree, so it's all soft stuff. I'm going to have to keep filling it. That was one other thing I was told to stop doing tests using wood pellets and stuff. Use wood like what you'd find on the trail, so here I am. Fire's going. I have two cups of water that I want to put on. It's about 45 degrees out here. The water temperature from the house is 56 degrees. So I'll put that on the fire. Start the timer. And we'll see what happens. to 12. Had a little trouble there. Almost let the fire go out when I went to look for a guard for the temperature probe. This is all real soft wood, plus I was using pine cones. Anything that, you know, little stuff that you might find along the trail. Definitely a fire that you have to keep attending and filling. Let's let this go for a... Oh, I didn't notice what time it started to boil. I have to look back. Let this burn for another minute so that we get our safe drinking water. And anyway, there you have a relatively easy wood gas type stove. Burning soft wood stuff off the trail. Pine cones, small branches, all soft stuff. So, I don't know if you can find one much easier than this to make. About the only thing special you have to buy maybe is the paint can. Unless you happen to have a couple of empty quart paint cans around the house. So that should be safe water by now take that out of there. We see the steam coming up out of the spout. See it there? So I thank you for watching. I look forward to any input, questions, remarks you may have. And I have to apologize for some of the people that have been writing some really stupid stuff on the old programs, the old remarks and stuff. I left them there, but I don't know. Just got to have some people that try to spoil the fun. So thanks for watching, and watch for Max the Dog. Bye now.